I've been working as a truck driver for well over 10 years now, but I only recently changed companies. I actually would have stayed in my own company, but when my friend Jake told me how much his company paid, I practically begged him to get me a job there. He referred me there, and I got the job after a quick interview. The interview itself was very strange, because I was asked some questions I didn't expect, like, have you ever abandoned your vehicle on the road? Are you afraid of the dark? Are you religious? Etc. I answered everything truthfully and got hired right on the spot, so I didn't think twice about the oddity of the questions. My job was to transport dried meat products to a small town, and for some reason the company said it could only be done at night, and then I had to be there by morning. I'm used to night shifts, and the handsome pay more than compensated for it, so I didn't complain. When the time came for my first tour, Jake explained which route I should take to get to my destination, stating the GPS was off a little. Before I entered the truck, he sent a message to my phone and told me to listen to it when I get on the road, since it explained some basic rules I should follow. I thanked him and started driving. When I got on the old road which Jake told me to take, I opened the message he sent me and realized it was an audio recording from him. Here's what it said. Hey, Paul. Welcome to the company. Now, I know you're an experienced truck driver, but our company has a list of rules you need to strictly follow while you're driving. I'm going to lay them out for you here, and you make sure to follow them as best you can. I'll also send you a text message so you can read the rules in case you aren't sure. Now, first of all, make sure to turn on your high beams and keep them on at all times since it's really dark on the road. You may notice that even with the lights on, it's really dark, but don't let that concern you. Within the first 10 miles, you may see a dead-end sign ahead. Ignore it and just keep driving. If your lights start flickering by this point, speed up and drive as fast as you can until the flickering stops. You may see an old man hitchhiking by the road at this point. Make sure to stop your vehicle and ask him where he's going. If he says to the nearest town, let him in. If he says anything else, floor it and don't look back. If you do let him in, he will remain quiet for about an hour while you're driving, and then he'll ask you to stop and let him out, despite being in the middle of nowhere. Do what he says, but once he's out, don't look at him while he's walking into the night. You should be well within the 20th mile by now. If you start to hear any banging or growling noises come from the back of the truck, ignore them. They'll go away faster if you maintain consistent driving speed, so try to do that. Before you reach the 30th mile, make sure to turn off your radio if it was on until now. Turning it down will not work, so make sure to turn it off. This is really important. By the 35th mile, your radio will suddenly turn on and will be at the highest volume. Now it's really important that you pay attention here. If a song plays, any song, simply turn it down or off. But if you hear only static, Stop your truck right away. Turn off the engine. Lie down on the back seat and close your eyes. Try to be as still as possible. Keep your eyes closed. You'll hear tapping on the windshield and roof, but you'll be okay as long as you keep your eyes closed. Even if you hear the truck door opening, don't move. Whatever opens them will close them in a few seconds after a sniffing sound. Once the noises around the truck stop, you can open your eyes slowly and look at your driver's window. If the window is fogged up, wait one more minute. Otherwise, you can sit back up and continue driving. By the 50th mile, you'll start to see something running along your truck on all fours on the side of the road. No matter how fast you go, it will always keep up with your truck. But it's advised you maintain a speed of at least 60 miles per hour. Try to keep your eyes on the road because there's a curve. After that, the creature will be gone. If the creature is still following you after the curve, speed up and hope you lose it by the next curve. You only have three curves, so make them count. By the 70th mile, your truck will sputter to a halt. Remain as calm as you can and try restarting the engine as fast as you can. Don't look in the rearview mirror at the figures running towards your truck. Just start the engine and as soon as you do, floor it. 
You'll notice by mile 80 that it's getting really hot inside the truck. Don't bother with the air conditioning because it won't work. Try taking off your jacket, but don't open the window under any circumstances. Try not to fall asleep either, because even though the road goes straight, you may find yourself swerving off a cliff if you close your eyes. If you need to use the bathroom, only do it between the 85th and 90th mile. Make sure to keep your high beams on while you're doing it. Do not step off the road or out of the light. When you're done taking a leak, you may see someone move behind your truck just as you turn around. Don't try following them, because you'll just endlessly move around the truck just in time for them to always get behind the next corner, and they want you to stay outside for as long as possible. If you hear a high-pitched scream in the distance while you're taking a leak, run back to the truck and floor it. I don't care if you piss your pants, but do not waste a second running back. Regardless of the mileage, at around 3 a.m. your phone will start ringing. Don't answer it, no matter who it is, even me. The caller will try to get you to answer three times before sending a message. Don't open the message either. Again, whoever it's from, ignore it. By the hundredth mile, you may see a pair of beams from other vehicles in the distance moving towards you. If you do, Turn off your lights immediately and wait for the other truck to pass by. Once it does, you may turn your lights back on. Repeat for any other oncoming vehicles. Do not honk or do anything to attract their attention. Keep looking in the rearview mirror, and if you see the beams of the truck turning around and coming back towards you, drive away as fast as you can and pray you are faster. Now, when you reach the 120th mile, you'll see a sign for a 20 mile per hour speed limit. Slow down to 20 miles per hour and do not go over that speed since the sound can attract unwanted attention. You can speed up once you see another sign that tells you the speed limit stops at that point. At around mile 130, you may see a woman waving and asking you for your help. Do not slow down and try not to even look at her. Once she's behind you, look in the rearview mirror. If she's still on the road, you're safe. If she's gone, just look straight. Don't even think about looking at the passenger seat, no matter what you see with your peripheral vision. Once you reach the 140th mile, you're safe. From here, it's a straight shot to your destination. Don't try to turn your truck around at any point while you're on the road, because you'll just end up driving until you're out of gas, and if that happens, you're as good as dead. Don't use your GPS until you reach the town either, because it'll take you to an old dirt road which will have you driving in a loop. Once you reach the client's place, the employees will take care of the rest. Let me know if you have any questions. I listened to the message and laughed, thinking Jake simply wants to prank me. That was before my lights started flickering. 